the DJ ceiling. So I think I can actually do it without a lot of roof, but I just have to, it has to be so far away from me. He's out the car. So if I just hold it out the car window there like you this, go. then it doesn't have roof. But in here. Happy it's White Castle Day! If there's one thing I've learned, it's that if you're craving White Castle, the burgers here just don't cut. Just thinking about those tender little White Castle burgers just makes me want to burn this motherfucker down. We're at White Castle, we don't know what we're getting, but we're here, the Impossible Burger, we did that. Yeah, that's really good. I really can't tell the difference between this and a White Castle Burger. This isn't meat? Yeah. That's impossible! It was actually pretty gross. You got really bad. mad at me that I liked it so much. Yeah. Oh, White Castle that's Cider is a four? Yeah, that that was You great. are a liar. liar. You, are you are a liar. liar. They got chicken rings, we did that in season Been there. one. There's nobody here. Actually, no, I like White Cast. I can't be talking no smack to them. Don't talk smack, dude. All right, let's just take a look on this thing, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, just one second. Let's see here. They got a breakfast. Oh, what about, they got a breakfast toast sandwich. What about the Belgian waffle slider, bro? Oh, I want to do that. Is it still available? If they'll do it. In the yeah, they got no. It's breakfast anytime, bro. Yeah, dude, no, Belgian one. Okay, how many you want? Just one each? I think I'll do two of the Belgian waffle sliders. All right, sausage, egg, and cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese. Sausage or bacon? Your choice. Uh, let's do sausage for both. Sausage, egg, and cheese? Yeah, and then can I do a, um, a medium Diet Coke? Okay. Damn. And that's it. Diet Coke. All right, go ahead and pull around the second window for me, please. Thank you so much. No problem. Dude, that was a good compromise. I'm using our money though on pop for me, which is probably a bummer for you. <laughs> no, it's just the fact that you love diet so much is a bummer for me. Yeah. Man. You got money? Oh yeah. Give it to me. Are you in the market for a brand new 2007 Honda Civic ceiling? <laughs> well, boy, do we have a video that's gonna make you feel all sorts of ways for you. I like to have it so that I like, you can't tell that I'm filming, you know? Like They I'll, know you're filming. Like I'm just chill. Like, oh, that's just the dude with a camera resting on his inner thigh. Yeah, that's a normal thing. That's what I want people to think. That's just a chill man. AC. Amateur hour. AC Slater. Hey, you started it, man, making me look like a jerk at the max. I've never had a Belgian waffle slider. Yeah, me neither. So it looks like the top and bottom bun is a Belgian waffle. Yes. And then it's got sausage, egg, and cheese on it. That's ex I think you nailed it. Kids at home, if you're a little overweight, I don't know if you're legally allowed to talk to kids. And you, <laughs> and you're like, what can I eat from a fast food joint that will get me shredded? Looking good for Becky with the good hair. You get two Belgian waffle sliders and a Diet Coke because these Diet Cokes got no calories in them. <laughs> I was about to blow in that. I thought you were going to just explode. Oh, yeah. Dude, we're in the Crave Zone. One of my favorite zones. I like Crave Zones. I'm not allowed in school zones. I thought I wasn't allowed. <laughs> Coming to Tonic Nightclub this weekend. Do it to do it to DJ Ceiling. I accidentally just sat on them. Absolutely sat on these glasses, which those are really cool. Don't break them, please. Those are actually cool. I just found these. I know. There you go. Perfect. Like a charm, bro. I'm a basically, what do you call those people? A wanna... basic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. They smell really good. Mm. Two Belgian waffle sliders and a Diet Coca-Cola from White Castle has been acquired on this show. Jump cut! Hello and welcome to this. You know what I just realized? How dumb you are? I am pretty stupid. I right. wore my number six with G's pocket shirt all last episode and I didn't say jack diddly dick about it. Yesterday? Yeah. You can get these nice three-button Henleys at your local Target. All you have to do is transport back to the year 2006. <laughs> Go see an Ian Berlin show, and then you can get one of these nice, beautiful <laughs> shirts. Hey, we should probably be promoting all the stuff we have, but we don't. Listen, man, when you're rolling in money like us, a couple more dollars ain't gonna do too much for you. Kidding, I'm so poor, I'm so poor. <laughs> People are probably, these guys probably make a lot of money, dude. Did you see their last video had 3,900 views? Was that like six, seven bucks? No, I think it's 60 cents. The iconic White Castle boxes. Let's both unbox it on here because, God, you're talented. What country does that smell like it's from? Belgium. Ooh, this feels like kind of like a snowball. I don't like how mushy it feels. Uh, Austria! Oh. G'day, mate. That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey. This is like I went to the store and got some Eggos. Yep. But look at it, it's got really melty cheese on there and a tiny Ooh. little egg. I like when people go aggressive melt on the cheese, you know? Yeah. 
Alright. So check, I mean show this show the camera a little bit, then we'll take our thumbnail. Yeah. Me... Look at you got this nice waffle. Kind of looks waffle. like waffle. I'm from the Midwest. It's a waffle. Kind of looks like a hash brown almost. It's cool they give you the option of bacon or sausage. Not too many places do that. <laughs> Woo! We've got a steamer. Yeah. A Cleveland steamer? Shut up, locust. You hear them out there? Those are cicadas. Oh yeah, that's right. I call them locusts. Was I wrong? That's one thing I don't care to know a lot about, you know? I like them. I like their shells. I like to put them on my little brother when he was small, scared the Christ The out amount of, of stuff you used to do to that poor child. That's how I tied him up, farted in his face, and he threw up. <laughs> I'm his little brother, by the way. <laughs> Are these guys gay? I can't decide. This is the Belgian Waffle Cider from White Castle. Go ch check it out if we like it. Cheers. Cheers. You know what it tastes like? What? Two waffles, sausage, egg, and cheese. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty good. The waffles are nice, light and airy. Mm hmm Good uh, little maple syrupiness to them. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of sweet with the salty. You okay with that? I like this. Okay. This is pretty crumbly, though. You might need to eat the rest of this with uh, a spoon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It really does crumble off. But I think that's what you expect with a waffle sandwich. Mm-hmm. Really hot. Sausage is really good. I can taste that creamy cheese on there. I'll tell you what. Most breakfast joints, most of these fast food breakfast sandwiches aren't that great. I know. So you know what? This is a competitor. Mm -hmm. I would get this. Also, shout out to White Castle for having breakfast or anything on their menu all the time. I love that. Yeah, about respect. Them. I don't like when I go. Here's my new pet peeve with McDonald's. Okay. It's 9 a.m. Right. Your old ones. It's not that they didn't have breakfast for a long time all the time. Now they do. Okay. That's great. That they give people cancer. That's a bummer. Mm -hmm. I think they figured that out now. But the new one is. All right. It's 9 a.m. Right. Okay. I'm hungover as shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really craving. It's a Wednesday. I'm, it's a Wednesday morning, and I'm not really craving a breakfast sandwich. You know what I really want? What do you want? A big old juicy Whopper. Mm. <laughs> I'm a Burger King in this scenario. I want a big old juicy like s double smokehouse burger, right? Okay. You can't get a hamburger during breakfast. I I agree with you. On you that. can't get fries during breakfast. What is that all about, dude? They got them there. They're sitting there. They're in that stupid fridge they got back a there. Am I Sixers? Am I wrong? Can you get Sixers? Can you? <laughs> am I dumb as shit? Can you get? Fries at nine in the morning at McDonald's. They just Not give you I know of. hash browns, right? I think so. So this place over here at White Castle, you can get anything, anytime, any day, any, mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. how, what, how, what time do they open? Twenty-four hours. Shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are. That's pretty awesome. Should we do a couple shirt shout outs? Shirt shout out. Shirt shout out. Shirt shout out. Some of them bad boys out. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Hey man, they have electric bikes now. Maybe not have your bike have a motor on it. No, he's just got a, a bunch of uh, baseball cards in the spokes. Pop, 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 yeah. pop, 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 it's just a lot of cards. It's like 15 or 20 of them. Shut up with your shirt to Mr. Benjamin Miller. Woohoo! BM. I got a BM right here, dude. And, an, and a shirt shout out to a very, and you know what? I have to tell a story about this guy. It's his fault. It's his for doing this that okay. I got to tell. Okay. Jerry Hayes, it's homeless girl's uncle. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jerry Hayes hangs out with my aunts and uncles. Okay. Found that out after I started dating Kylie. Like drinks and stuff or swingers or? Kicking it. Just they're, they're, they're people who make gross, disgusting jokes all the time. Oh. Oh, yeah, and he like old, runs with old, that group. Uh, yeah, it's my grandma's sister, and my mm. grandma and her and their kids and stuff. They're okay. gnarly, right? Turns out before I started dating Kylie, mm. I so I remember this. My aunt's gnarly, and she one time sent me this really nasty picture. Oh good. And it looked like it was a butthole with mm. white stuff dripping on it. Turns out it was Uncle Jerry pinching his elbow like this, and them dripping mayonnaise, and they did a close up of it. So I saw a fake uh, Uncle Jerry's basically butt crack, arm crack before like like three years before I started dating Kylie. That's upsetting and, and I didn't funny. know that until we started dating and Aunt Karen was like, oh yeah, that was his arm. So I don't know if Uncle Jerry wanted that to be told, but if not, you shouldn't have been sending me those pictures. Dude. I hope the Toledo Tourism Bureau finds this video and uses this as a testimonial for why you should live and raise a family in <laughs> Toledo. Because right, there's awesome people like Uncle Jerry there, man. Out of five, I have an old friend from the theater community that used to think that this emoji that I'm gonna use was a cat butthole. So out of five cat buttholes, <laughs> how many cat butthole emojis do you give the Belgian waffle slider from White Castle, Corey? Man, that's an excellent question. Oh. It's, it's an excellent question? It is, man. When you really think about it, there's a lot to consider. These are the questions journalists should be asking yeah, our president. Yeah, they should be, you know. And you think about things like the science food man does. President Trump, um, I don't care about any of the important stuff. What do you think about the Belgian waffle slider from White Castle? It's so good. I love it. I love 
The people from Belgium are so nice. Mess Show up. me your score. <laughs> it's more like you're doing a uh, Keenan doing. Keenan doing, doing. Yeah, That's yeah. my Trump is, yeah. is Alec Baldwin doing Trump. So I'm really impersonating the comedian. Yeah, yeah. So it's less offensive and even more impressive because to you get it. All right, out Real. of five cat butthole emojis. Ooh, yeah, a lot of thigh I put into this one. You know, you're comparing them against all sliders. The sandwich, no, all the breakfast sandwiches. That's oh, in right. The That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Genre, and I gotta say, out of that genre, it's pretty good. Yeah, what? It's pretty good. I'm gonna go with an excellent score of a 3.9. Ooh. It's right there at the four. I mean, there's some Dude, room for growth, you but were it was high. very good. You were higher than me yesterday in more ways than one, and you're higher than me today. That's how I do. 3.5. Okay, that's respectable. Out of five, I thought it was very, very good. This one I'm not going to be mad about. This one's acceptable to go lower. I would give that a 3.5 across the board. <laughs> the board. <You're> crazy <laughs> the board. I think if you're at a White Water Castle board. for some reason and you don't normally get breakfast, try the breakfast out. That was fun. Yeah, or if you're at one of those corners that's got like a McDonald's and a White Castle and a Wendy's and it's breakfast time, mm -hmm. man, go give that uh, White Castle a try. It might be the best uh, breakfast decision out of those three. I mean, obviously McDonald's has some excellent ones. What would be the opposite of a White Castle? Castle. A black shack? Yeah, like it's more just an emo shack. Yeah, it's like a hot topic. Yeah, it's just a hot Welcome topic. To it's just a fake hot topic. <laughs> but it's, they're only next to White Castles. Welcome to Bla Black Shack. It's also right next to a Spencer's Gifts. Yeah. Are oh, Spencer's Gifts inside a hot topic or are those two different stores? Those are two different stores. Man, these are the conversations you stop working to listen to. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow, we're going to go to another fast food restaurant because Tell we're trying to get fast fuck. Bye. Thank you.